So a few years back, Starbucks, which makes awful coffee in case you haven't noticed, pledged to hire 10,000 refugees from all over the world. So you wouldn't think about how burnt their coffee is. Now, in response to that, a little known company called Black Rifle Coffee made its own pledge. They vowed to hire 10,000 veterans. Now, the man behind that decision is called Evan Haffer. He's a former Green Beret who founded Black Rifle Coffee. He's now its CEO. Now, we've heard a lot about him, didn't quite know what to think of him at all. So we spent a day with him, ate with him, shot with him, and then interviewed him for Tucker Carlson today. And we were definitely impressed. Here's Evan Haffer explaining how he and why he started his company. So I started roasting coffee to take with me. I was in Kirkuk, Iraq, which was um, you know, a, a relatively small city up in northern Iraq. Yep. Uh, there's the just outside of Suleimania and Erbil. I was in Kirkuk, and I was spending. I, I'd spent about a year and a half up there, going back and back and forth into Kirkuk and to Crit. My problem was, and I had you know this problem, which is I couldn't get fresh coffee. And what I wanted was to figure out how I could get fresh coffee into Kirkuk. Uh, I did a little bit of research, and in my, you know, uh, I guess my my economics that I was crunching at the time I was like, well, if I buy a one-pound roaster, I can go home, and then I'll start roasting coffee to take back with me to Kirkuk or wherever I was going. So I'd go home, I buy this roaster, and I start roasting coffee one pound at a time uh, throughout that year, and I'd roast like 30 or 40 pounds, and I'd take it back out to Iraq with me. I'd load up one kit bag full of my gear and like one one kit bag full of coffee. And did like, anyone call you names for doing this? Because that's a little eccentric. I mean, I'm Oh, it's it, super. Yeah, it, it, it's like super eccentric. And yes, you know, it was like most of which I can't repeat. On. <laughs> but yeah, the, the, the guys, you know, there was a constant amount of ribbing until they drank the coffee. And then it was like, where's Evan going? Because I want to go out there uh, because I know he's going to have great coffee, right? So then you'd have guys that were deploying specifically to different cities, knowing like, I know Evan's gonna be in Basra, I'm gonna go to Basra, because he's gonna have great coffee down there. 